folks, how you doing? And welcome to another video. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how I've stopped the laggy connection on the MX keys and the MX Master 3 mouse. So this keyboard and mouse combination is just a brilliant setup, but it does have a problem that I read about on the internet and that I didn't experience until probably about a week into having my setup up and running. The mouse does become laggy and it seems to drag quite a bit behind where you would expect it to be and it stutters. So I was so disappointed when this started happening and I had a big search around to try and find out what the solution was, what the fix was, and all I can tell you today is how I fixed it for me. And my fix is perhaps more of a workaround, but actually it kind of makes sense when you think about it. So I've moved from a wired keyboard and mouse and of course you really don't get those problems with a wired keyboard and mouse. There's no lagginess at all. Now moving up to a wireless keyboard, the MX keys and a wireless mouse, the Master, the MX Master 3, I didn't really expect it to be that laggy because of the cost. After a few days, it did become a bit laggy and it was a bit frustrating. But one of the things a wireless keyboard and mouse has to fend with is all the other connectivity, I guess, which is happening in the room. And if you think about, you know, I've got lights that are remote controlled, I've got my phone, all sorts of devices. So the actual interference in the room must be really quite high. I don't understand enough to the technicalities of it, but I can just appreciate there's a lot of other noise in the room as well. So my keyboard and mouse are probably two meters away from my PC base station. It could well be that this problem is prevalent because the receiver is tucked in the back of the PC, perhaps out of the way and shielded by the PC case itself. But the way I solved this problem was to run a two meter cable from my PC base station to just under my monitor. Ever since doing that, I've had no problems whatsoever. Now, I guess the idea of having a wireless keyboard and mouse is less wires or no wires on your desktop. But the way I've done this is just suspending the receiver just underneath the monitor. It really is not a problem. I don't notice it, it doesn't bother me. But what I have got now is the solution working absolutely spot on for the MX keys and for the mouse as well. So look, hopefully this has helped you a little bit to try and solve this problem if you've got it. Okay, fine. It's a little bit of a fix because really you'd want to plug the receiver into the PC or to the laptop that you're using and then just use the keyboard and mouse. Reality is, I think you have to find a, a solution that works for you in the situation that you've got. And for me, with my PC about two meters away, running a USB extension to just underneath my monitor has given me the perfect solution and everything is working like a dream. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe maybe and ring the bell and all that jazz. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.